Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz with me, Fujit. Hello. So, let's be honest, I don't normally do replays on my channel. Why? Because I can't really analyze them. Because, well, you know, I'm just not a fantastic player. And when a good player sends me a replay, I'm like, well, you know, I'd like to show it, uh, but I'm not going to critically analyze it because that's not the way I operate. Because I'm just not skilled enough to do such a thing but anyway this replay came in from a friend of mine true positive and i just have to show this replay it's as simple as that now true positive is rolling out here on winter malinovka in the 50b now a couple of things there's been a lot of noise about the 50b because in update 9.1 wargaming are saying they're going to put a fourth shell into that clip but you know, the 50B is the 50B. Now, I like the 50B. I think it's a fantastic tank. And in the hands of pretty decent players, you could easily have 4,000 damage games plus. What True Positive here is doing, he's going to show you what the 50B really is capable of doing. Now, he's got a little bit lucky here because the enemy team for unknown reasons, have decided to camp their heavies at the back. This poor 60 TP is out on his own, um, it, probably expecting support from the Mushin over there, and uh, a, a, the other tank, what is the other tank? It's a WZ, isn't it, I think? I'm not sure. It, no, E75, but he's getting no support, so he really is all alone, having to hold a line. The rest of his team have gone the other way. Now, admittedly, the mediums in that team and, and a couple of heavy, and, and the, the couple of heavies that there are, I think there's a one heavy and two TDs, have managed to take out two tanks, the two mediums here. So, you know, they're, they're doing well on the downside of this map. But why two tier nine heavies are sat camping in a TD spot is beyond me. And that is going to be their undoing. I mean, guys, if you're in a super heavy, of which the Mushin is, and so is E75, to be fair, you really shouldn't be camping in them. Now, on the grounds that neither player have got any camo on those tanks, I'm assuming that they're relatively new players. Uh, that, that's beside the point. If you're a new player or not, you shouldn't be camping in super heavies. Come on, it, it's just not the way it works. And when you do start camping in super heavies, then this is what generally happens. You generally get a team that will be able to farm you and this is exactly what true positive is doing at the moment i mean he's had fantastic fun farming the 60 tp he's just taken out the amx 50b um and he's put shots into the motion and the a and the e75 now the e75 on the enemy team has dropped off his perch and now he's just going to go out in the open this again suggests to me that he's a relatively inexperienced and relatively new player i could be wrong but that's the way he's kind of playing that tank. And if it was me, I certainly wouldn't be camping at the back and then crossing in the open like that. Mushin is in, well, he's pretty much in the same position. I mean, he's, he's doing the same thing. He's now dropped off his perch and a bit too low, too, you know, too little too late now. Poor old Yang Tiger there is getting farmed a little bit here by True Positive and why not? maybe have to get a shot in he's tempted he's tempted but no he's he's given up on that the motion now and the e75 are out in the open oh that's an unlucky bounce i mean they're trying to push that uh, that ally of true positive but they're not really pushing that they're, they're just going to hold the line again they're not using their hit points they're not using the advantage they've got now this is four against two you know, and you would think that the enemy team have the advantage here. Now, True Positive has already got to 6k. He's going to be able to finish off this E75. The Mushin is just sat there and watched his teammate get annihilated. He didn't really do anything about it, despite the fact he is in a Mushin and in a super, super heavy with a lot of HP. Now he's going to push on to True Positive. True Positive is going to get a shot into the side. He will take a hit. But he's fully loaded. He should be able to clip him out there. He gets an engine fire, which is nice. Tracks him, and he should be able to finish him off easily. He has got an object 704, a very, very healthy 704, pushing from behind. The object misses the shot there. 
Now, is it 7.6k damage? I mean, this is one heck of a game. It's two against one. The Ag Tiger is a one shot, but the object is incredibly healthy. Now, a lot of mistakes have happened on the red team. The object is not pushing and they're not working together. Now, true positive can't take, can't, you can't engage them both at the same time. What he does is the right move. He, he, he gets lucky here with the bounce, very lucky with the bounce, but it happens. Now he's on his long reload, but look at what he's doing. He's going to try and side hug him, stopping that object from getting any gun onto that AMX 50B. He's toying with him a little bit. Should be able to track him here. Yes, he does. Allows him that precious time to get around the corner, get some third shot in. Third shot to charm, maybe. Boom. 9.6k. Now, that was a great game by True Positive. Not going to lie. It was fantastic. He made all the right moves in all the right places, focused the right tanks, did the right thing. Hence the reason why he got close to 10k damage in a tier 10. But, but, the thing that you need to remember when you get these high damage games, nine times out of 10, it's because the opposition are, well, making lots of mistakes. Now, I don't want to name and shame people, so I have no intention to, but my suspicion is that Lemushin was a, a relatively new player, and he is. He's got less than 2,000 battles. Now, when you've got less than 2,000 battles and you're rolling out in a tier nine, you, and, you, and you're camping at the back, dude, you, you just haven't got the experience. You need to get a little bit more experience and a little bit more game aware. So now, the E75, again, 2,000 battles. Again, I'm not surprised he sat at the back and camped. Now, the E75 and the motion there really let down the 60TP. Now, the 60TP, he's got 4,000 battles. So he's a little bit more experienced and no doubt he was expecting those two super heavies to support him. But it just wasn't meant to be. That is a fantastic game. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I could sit here all day and say True Positive got really lucky. He did to an extent, but that's only one side of the coin. He's still got to perform and he's still got to do the job that is presented to him. And he did it in spades. I mean, that's a fantastic game. I believe it's in the Hall of Fame. It should be close to 10,000 damage. And wow, I hope you enjoyed that because I know I did. So massive congratulations to True Positive. Going to show that the AMX 50B in the right hands and in the right circumstances is just one heck of a beast. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That has been True Positive's amazing game in the AMX 50B. By all means, comment and everything below. And until the next time, guys, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because look, that really is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.